Hello everybody, my name is Bino Sale. Welcome back to another episode on Jurassic World Evolution 2. And uh, today we are going to be picking up on where we left from the uh, Jurassic Park remake in Jurassic World Evolution 2. Um, now I did like do like, a little bit of like, extra detail off camera. It was literally just a little bit of like, forest and a bit more. So here uh, you can actually see me doing the Parasaurolophus Lake and this video is a little bit rushed and I do go a bit off uh, you could say in this episode I will be making two enclosures I'll be making the Parasaurolophus enclosure and the Triceratops enclosure like finishing the Triceratops enclosure and Parasaurolophus I build a lot more than just them just so you know um, I am building off a preference. Uh, it's a not the movie. It's if Jurassic Park was to open uh, to the public. So this map includes the T Rex, the Barry Onyx, the Metriacanthosaurus, Ferrarosaurus. Uh, what else? There's the well. This is what wasn't seen on camera. Here I am rushing off and building the T-Rex enclosure, just to let you know. There's the Baryonyx, there is the Herarosaurus, there is Metriacanthosaurus, Dilophosaurus, which is in the film T-Rex, Brachiosaurus, there's a lot, there's a lot. Um, and some other creatures, for example. Um, but yeah, these are the parasols that uh, landed on the enclosure. Now I'm just densing up this little forest so they don't go as far but they try and stay in the area. Like, they don't have to but they will. Also the Proceratosaurus, the Herarosaurus, the Dilophosaurus, the Velociraptor T-Rex, the Metriocampsaurus, the Proceratosaurus, the Parasaurolophus, Triceratops, Scalamans and Brachiosaurus. The only dinosaurs I do add though this episode is Parasaurolophus and Triceratops. I don't add the T-Rex, the Dilophosaurus or Metriocampsaurus or Baryonyx as I built their enclosures in this episode. Um, now, obviously you can see that I'm trying to get through this video, but I just really, really want to finish it and show you guys when it's done. It probably won't take me much longer, it'll probably take me two more, two, three more episodes and it'll be done. But um, yeah. Here now I'm doing the, um, oh, what's it called, the uh, Baryonyx. This will be the Baryonyx enclosure and they will be the T-Rex and the Dilophosaurus. So now I'm just looking on the map to see what this was and then I realised, oh, this is Metriocampsaurus and this goes there. It's a lot bigger on the act it would be a lot bigger if it was actually Jurassic World, obviously, because there would be more space on the island and there's not a lot of space here. Obviously there's quite a it's quite a big area of space, but not big enough for like the preference that I want. Uh I I did realise as well that the Proceratosaurus has like the biggest enclosure ever for like the smallest creature ever. So I think I build that. Also, in the next episode, you'll see this, but I didn't include it in this episode. I get rid of the Gallimimus enclosure, but I keep the Gallimimus in the game. This is the Proceratosaurus enclosure, by the way. That's how big it is. Um, so, I realised that I could just do a sand path leading down to the East Dock instead of an actual path. So, I just thought, ah, oh, I'll do that instead. So, there's a sand path going down there now, but they there wasn't before so you'll see in the next episode what I'm on about anyway uh, here I'm just I'm going back to get the Parasauro uh, the Triceratops because I'm trying to figure out what to do at this point either the Triceratops or the um, Brachiosaurus so I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do yet I obviously selected the 1993 skin and they're all going up on there all six, I think. 
So now I'm actually adding like the rocks. But here I switch over to uh, keyboard and mouse because it's a lot easier to place rocks on keyboard and mouse. And there's always time for rocks. Uh, from Jurassic Tom, this is. But more rocks, the better, as he does claim. And I agree. Uh, I'm not finished with the trike enclosure just yet. There's like a bit more texturing I gotta do and stuff. At this point, I'm just having a look, making sure everything's okay. In capture mode, see if it looks cool, blah blah blah. And I'm just checking it out. Trying to have a look for thumbnail shots, really, and I think, I think one of them has made it already. I could see here that the Parasaurolophus were getting, like, further down as well. So I think, now that I've noticed that in the next episode, I'm going to, like, start to dense up the forest. Here we are, I'm adding more rocks again. And then the tr all the tracks are moving. I sadly missed that animation in capture mode. I don't know why, but I was just being slow, so I didn't manage to pause it, and I was just being really slow and stupid. I was just checking through all the skins in the hatchery to see what ones I got. I have two Lux skins. I think they're both the second Lux style currently. Now I'm adding the markers for the uh, enclosures. So the dive officers. Triceratops, the T Rex, I think I had. Oh no, the Parasaurolophus one now. There we go. And you may wonder what I'm going to do with that little off section at the bottom. That is where the Herarosaurus and the um, Velociraptor will go. With the Velociraptor, I'm going to make it like a bit abandoned sort of. I'm going to place the invisible fences as if you couldn't see them and I'm going to place um, the actual hatchery and I'm going to place them around the hatchery you kind of understand what I mean but that'll be in like the, one of the last episodes of actually building. Here I noticed that they might cool down a bit so I, tr I think I tried to make the forest a bit more dense yeah so just so they like want to stay up in that bit and in the film, there's quite a lot of dense forests, like going to enclosures. So I just kept that there. So now I'm doing the terrain. Honestly, not a lot I did, but I did make this. I will do a tutorial to this, how to do this little trick eventually. And you can make like massive mountains, quarries, and even more. But as this little video comes to an end, sh shortly, I do try to do this, but it don't work sad times but yeah so that was the end of the video I do realize that the commentary was a bit rubbish and it wasn't the best it was a bit rushed so I'll see you all in the next one hope you enjoy goodbye